Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Tuesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, yesterday we talked about a middle band test either as a function of time or as a function of price. Well, it was as function, mostly a function of price. What we're seeing now is we saw a test of the middle band yesterday that held. What we saw in the overnight was a failure at 56. And here's a here's here's an hour chart. You had here's 56, which is your middle band last night. You had a move below. Let me zoom in here. You had a move below. You had a retest that failed at about midnight, and it never got it back. And you've seen an acceleration of that move this morning. We've traded as low as 2038.25. Okay, so we've gotten our pullback, right? Essentially, at this point, we're, we're, we pull back about 2%. Where do we go from here? Well, there's two schools of thought. Are the dip buyers going to come in? Absolutely. They're dip buyers. That's what they do. They're going to come in. The issue becomes, can the bears, and I've got the weekly pivot up here at 2068 because that was a critical point yesterday during the day where weekly pivot became resistance and we failed weekly pivot on the first time down to test the middle band so you've got weekly pivot here as resistance now you've got middle band as resistance do we get a full-blown retest of middle band today perhaps we really could um, the issue becomes what are the bears going to do with it when we start to test these levels I'll be very interested to see where my proprietary upper level comes in today uh, because that's an area that most certainly will probably get a test if the dip buyers show up. The other possibility is that we just go trend down, which has been a very rare bird in the last two years, but it's possible. So what we do in the room is we watch the AD line, we watch about three or four other you know proprietary type things that we kind of put together, and we try to get a trend day identified. I try my goal is to get them identified by 10:30, so that we can look at the pops as opportunities to get short to go with the trend. Same rate, you know, when it's a trend up day, we try to get that identified. So those little, you know, two, three, four handle pullbacks that you get are opportunities to get long versus trying to fight the market all day. If you're not short, I don't think you should get short here. That's called shorting in the hole. There is an entire graveyard of traders since December of, of 2012, and you could argue since back in, in 2009. And all it says on their tombstone is he or she shorted in the hole. Whole shorts get put in body bags every time. And you are absolutely in the hole. We're at 2079. We failed 68. We failed 56. We've traded down to, uh, to, you know, to 38. And somebody's holding the bag from down there. And the problem is when the bull, the dip buyers come in, the bulls come in and we start to squeeze, everybody just dumps it and runs because they don't, you know, they're short, they're making money short, and they don't trust it. Why should they trust it? So be careful shorting in the hole. What you want to see, what I want to see is, because I've got a little bit of my short left, what I want to see is a move up off of here that comes up with a pronounced um, lower high versus 56. If we rally... Let me tighten up this chart. If we rally back to say 45 from 38 and we can't get over 45, 46, that's an area where you can say, okay, well, at least I know what my risk is, right? We've retested 45 quarter that was resistance earlier at about 745 in the morning and we can't get over it. So I can draw a line here and say to myself, okay, Here's some place where I can get short, just in case we are trend down. We did a little bit of a pop. We should go down and we should make new lows, right? That's how you do it. You don't say, oh, man, you wake up, you get to your, I guarantee you, people got to their computers this morning at 8 or 8.15 when we cracked 47, we cracked 44, we cracked 40, we get down to 39, 38, and they're like, I'm missing out, short, and it comes right back in your face. So you got to be careful. I'll be interested in seeing what happens with this move. If this move to 43 quarter ends up being resistance and we move to new lows, then that for me is going to make it a little more likely that we can do trend down during the regular session. 
but you know don't anticipate anything um, so we're seeing another another push down today so uh, um, just some things to look at just control your size control your risk if you are short roll your stops down I the stop on my short is down at 2047 right now because we get back through 2047 I think we'll squeeze all the way back to 56 and I don't want to give all that back so um, watch your size control your risk don't anticipate anything um, and let's see if the bears can control some of these larger areas like 56 and 68 as resistance okay have a fantastic day follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader check out the website PrincetonTrader.com come check out the chat room come trade this stuff with us come take a trial uh, we'd love to meet you and help you with your trading I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast trade them well everybody